The truth about the matter is that the universal credit is now a hundred and eleven billion pound handout to people. And there was a very good point I read somewhere today about places like Middlesbrough, where where a huge number of people who, as far as I know, are perfectly able to work, are now not working. And we now have a situation where we pay out all this money on universal credit to people who aren't working, and yet we need a whole load of people to do jobs. And if you're in the hiring business, and I am slightly at the moment, then it's incredible how many people are not available to work. It's astonishing. Yeah. You I ask mean, you've got, anybody we, who wants to hire got, anybody, yeah. there is a thousand and one reasons why they can't come to work. Is, what do you say to those people who argue it's, it's invidious to talk about the... to divide up the, the deserving and the undeserving poor? Um, that, that's a dangerous game, they say. Oh, well, I don't think it's a dangerous game at all. I mean, if there's a collection of fraudsters, actually, funnily enough, if you drill down into the numbers there, the, uh, what happened with universal credit was because of COVID, the numbers went from three million, uh, from three million to six million. It doubled, right? As a whole load of people went on universal credit. Now, those people were the self-employed and the self-employed weren't getting the furlough payments. So they said, right, well, I tell you what, we're short of money. We haven't saved for a rainy day. I'll tell you what we do will go down to the government. And the government haven't got any money. It is you and I and your viewers who have got who, who have to have to subsidize their way of life. I, and, and the idea that the, the government is now going to hire 10,000 uh, kind of highly trained kind of financial detectives to find out how you manage to, to fiddle the money out of it. Where are these people coming from? There aren't enough people there aren't enough people to make coffee. There's nobody in, there's no baristas. There's no this, there's no that. The idea that we're suddenly going to dream up 10,000 to track down these crooks. And when they are caught, they appear in court. And do you know what happens? 99 times out of 100, they walk out the door. And the reason they walk out the door, you know why? Because they say to the, they say to the idiot magistrate, I haven't got any money. I'm on universal credit. It's a complete racket.